हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स ये वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक यू स्मार्टर एंड क्रैक द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इन मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड यू नो विद मिनिमम फस सो ऑफ लेट यू बीन वॉचिंग सो मेनी वीडियोज इन विच आई हैव पुट अप ट्रिक्स टू स्क्वायर द नंबर्स क्यूब द नंबर्स एंड फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट्स एंड क्यूब रूट्स ऑफ द नंबर्स you know some basic operations and uh, very very important uh, multiplication you know that forms the base of everything and when you are very good in multiplying big numbers by a single digit number then these things also become easier so today in this video i am going to bring to you a new rule uh, which you will not find uh, in, in the uh, numerical ability books or the quantitative aptitude books this is the rule for finding the cubes of some specific numbers i call this rule as the rule of 156 now why do i call it as a rule of 156 i'll tell you um before that let me tell you about the uh, importance of these short tricks you know you can study the short tricks if you if you watch me doing it you will really appreciate these tricks as you have been doing on the youtube channel in your comments and uh, you know the only thing is practice so whenever you start practicing something uh, that's the time you can assure uh, yourself that you are going to apply it in the exam also so practice is a must for everything when you watch this 15 to 20 minutes video you will realize that this actually requires practice so 156 what does 156 mean it means that all those numbers from 11 to 999 that is two digit numbers and three digit numbers which end with either 1 or 5 or 6 so you can see i have taken a basic example here 21 ends in 1 25 ends in 5 and 26 ends in 6 the rule of 156 can be applied to all the three numbers to find the cube so watch the entire video i am going to take up huge numbers three digit numbers also and find the cube of those numbers easily if you want to learn all the short tricks i mean you want to have a compilation of all those short tricks at one place then you can send me a message on whatsapp this is my whatsapp number 9896369963 you can find this number in the description box below and this ebook of uh, short tricks comes with a uh, combo of reasoning so i think content reasoning it makes an amazing combo and most of the quantitative aptitude exams and uh, most of the placement exams rather will have both quantitative aptitude and reasoning so that will fulfill your purpose let's see the rule of 156 now so one that means two digit numbers or three digit numbers ending in one i have put up a separate video for this you can see that particular video i think the i button is showing you that particular uh, link so you can watch that video that is a detailed video for finding the cubes of numbers ending in 1 what do you do here so to find 21 cube you just need to do 21 times 21 times 21 right and multiplication itself is a problem so when a number ends in 1 the product of these two numbers will end in one only then put a slash add the two numbers which are other than one so 2 plus 2 4 and because the number here ends in one so you don't need to multiply it by one but here because it ends in 5 we will be doing multiplication by 5 and finally 2 times 2 is 4 so 441 is the square of 21 and now i need to do this again because i have another 21 so ending in 1 and then 44 plus 2 is 46 and 44 times 2 is 88 so retain the 1 retain the 6 carry forward the 4 88 plus 4 is 92 so you get the cube of 21 as 9261 this is not going to consume much time i am just telling you the rule so this is the rule of the numbers ending in 1 so cubing those numbers is done like this now come to cube of 25 the pi part of the rule so when you have to do 25 cube 
we just have to make one small adjustment 25 times 25 times 25 right so this product of 25 and 25 is going to end in what so 5 times 5 is 25 right so i'll write a 25 here and then apart from these the two fives we have two and two that makes it four and finally two times two is four again but what is the change from here to here because this number in is ending in five the center number here the sum two plus two four is to be multiplied by five this is the change now four and five fours are twenty and then twenty five so retain the five and carry forward the 2, this becomes 22, 22 means 2 and 2 carry forward so this becomes 6. So this is how you find the square of number ending in 5 and then times 25 again, so we will do it once more. Uh, so 5 and 5 again 25 and then put a slash and apart from 5 we have 62 here and 2 here and 62 plus 2 is 64 and 64 times 5, half of 6 40 that is 320. So you get a 320 here and then 62 times 2 is 124. Now pretty easy after that 5, 2 carried forward so 322 means 2, 32 carried forward so this becomes 156 and 15625 becomes the cube of 25. You can use Vedic maths here 25 times 25 is pretty easy 25 times uh, 25 can be done by uh, prefixing 2 times 3 6 with 25 that is a direct trick the Vedic match trick now we will apply the same rule here for finding the cube of 26 so if I have to cube 26 now I will do first the square of 26 so how will you do that 6 times 6 is 36 so I will write a 36 now apart from the 6's we have 2 and 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and now I will multiply that by 6 because it is ending in 6 so 6 times 4 is 24 and finally 2 into 2 is 4 so 6 3 carried uh, forward so 27 means 7 2 carried forward 6 here we have the square quite easy right and then multiply that by 26 again again 6 times 6 forget these two sixes just write a 36 and then the remaining part 67 plus 2 is 69 but you have to do 6 times that sum and finally 67 times 2 right so this becomes 134 and this becomes 6 9s are 54 so 5 36 and 5 41 and then 36 so you have a 6 then 3 goes here and this becomes 7, 41 gets carried forward. So this is 5, this is 7 and this is 1. So 1, 7, 5, 7, 6 is the cube of 26. See the rule of 1, 5, 6. All three are nearly same. Here you don't have to do anything in the middle number. Just add them and take the product on the left. Why? Because there is a 1 here. So multiplication by 1 is uh, an invalid operation, right? You get the same number. Here you have 5, so I multiplied this by 5 and then here you have 6, so I multiplied this by 6. So you have seen this rule of 1 and rule of 5 before. Now rule of 6 is to be practiced. See, let's take 46. So if I have to do 46 times 46 times 46, I have to apply the rule of 6 first. So ending in 36. Then 4 plus 4 is 8, so 6 times 8 and 4 times 4 is 16. So we have a 6, 3 and then 48 and then 16. So 6, 3 goes here, so 51 means 1, 5 comes here, so 2, 1. This is the square and now multiplication by 46. I will get a 36 again and then 211 and 4 is 215 which I have to multiply by 6. And then 211 times 4. So what numbers am I going to get? This is 36. 6 5 are 30. 0 3 means 9. 6 2 are 12. And then finally 4, 4 and 8. And here you, you will have your answer now. 6, 
3 goes here, this is 3 and then 129 gets added here, this becomes 13, 3, 1 carry means 7 and 9. So 9, 7, 3, 3, 6 is the cube of 46. Let's move on to 76. So 76 times 76 times 76. You can see slowly the speed of finding the cube is going to increase because I am doing less number of steps. I am explaining uh, in lesser words and that is why I am taking less time. So if you have to do it all by yourself, you got to practice like 15, 20 questions and then note the time in which you are finding the cube of numbers ending in 6. Let's do 76 times 76. So we have to write a 36 first and then 7 plus 7 is 14 so 6 times 14 and finally 7 times 7 49 so this is 49 uh, this is 84 and this is 36 so we have a 6 87 means 7 8 carry means 57 so 5 7 7 6 and then multiply by 76 again write 36 apart from the 6 we have 577 and 7 so 6 times what 577 plus 7 is 584 and finally 577 times 7. So what numbers you are going to get here? Now this depends on how good you are in multiplying the numbers orally. So 36 will obviously be there and then 6 4s are 24, 4 2 carry means 50, 0, 5 carry means 35. So 3 5 0 4. Likewise 7 7s are 49, 9 4 carry 53, 3 5 carry so 40, 4 0, 3 9 and then start retaining 6, 3 goes here so this becomes 7 and the 350 gets carried forward here which gives you 4 3 8 9 so 4 3 8 9 7 6 is the cube of 76. Likewise we can go for 116 cube. So 116 times 116 times 116. Now take see it's a three digit number now, so it's a bigger challenge. So let's see. After that, I'll take one one question which is uh, uh, more than like 200, 300. Okay. Uh, here we have to write 36, and then six times what? Six times 11 plus 11, 22, and then 11 into 11, 121. So 121, 132 and 36 so 6 comes in 3 means 135 5 13 here and so this gives me 4 3 and 1 1 3 4 5 6 that is the square of 116 and now i need to do times 116 so 36 again and now 1 3 4 5 and 11 so 1 so 6 times what sum of 1 3 4 5 and 11 is 1 3 5 6 and then product of 1, 3, 4, 5 by 11. Multiplication by 11 is again Vedic Maths. See, everywhere it is used. So, you need to know basic Vedic Maths also. So, 36. And then 6, 6 are 36. 6, 3 carry. So, 6, 5 are 30, 33. 3 carry again. 6, 3 are 18, 21. 1, 2 carry. So, this is 8. So, 8, 1, 3, 6 in the middle when you multiply these two. And then the product. 11 multiplication by 11 5 5 plus 4 9 4 plus 3 7 3 plus 1 4 and 1 retain the 6 carry forward the 3 here this becomes 9 8 1 3 is to be carried forward here so this becomes 8 and this becomes 10 0 1 carry means 16 6 1 carry means 5 and 1 now pick up the calculators 1 5 6 0 8 9 6 is the cube of 116 so you can go on and on and uh, take up big numbers and challenge yourself. I'm sure the rule of 156 is going to uh, uh, get the cubes of all the numbers uh, from 11 to 999 which are ending in 156. That is why 156, rule of 156. Okay. So let's take one more and then we will conclude this. Can we challenge ourselves and find the cube of 256? So you have to do 256 times 256 first, right? So write a 36 and then write 36 times what? 25 plus 25, 50 and then 25 times 25. So we get 36 and then 6 times 50 is 300 
and finally 25 times 25 is 625 so 6 3 means 303 so 330 here so this makes it 5 5 and 6 6 5 5 3 6 that is the square of 256 now I need to just do 256 times what this number 6 5 5 3 6 to get the cube of 256 so apart from the 6 which gives me 36 as the last number I need to do 6 times something what is that 25 and 6 5 5 3 so apart from the 6's we have these two numbers so this is when you add them you get 6 5 53 plus 25 is 78 right and then you need to do 6 5 5 3 times 25 so very quick multiplication required here so 36 6 8s are 48 8 4 carries so 42 and 4 46 6 4 carries 6 5s are 30 34 4 3 and 39 so here we have the number in the middle 25 3 times is 75 5 7 125 132 2 13 125 138 8 13 and 150 163 so 163 8 2 5 the number on the left and then start retaining the number 6 3 goes here so this becomes 3 9 4 7 1 so 1 3 9 4 7 12 means 2 1 7 so 17 7 1 carry another 7 and then 1 6 1 6 triple 7 2 1 6 you can check now is that the cube of 256 lot of calculations involved there and that's why i stress on the need to have good mastery over the basic calculations and if you are good in uh, oral multiplication oral addition all these things will not bother you in the exams so friends i hope you have learned rule of 156 and uh, uh, you will be able to cube all those numbers now with little practice so if you want all these short tricks in at one place i told you you can send me a message on whatsapp 9896369960 is the number and i'm sure this is going to build up a very good mathematical aptitude in you and you will be able to calculate five to six times faster than others so friends if you like this video do share it with all your friends do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications of future uploads thanks for watching this and all the best